Hello everyone and welcome to Starbound. Now, uh, it's currently quite late at night, Monday, and it's supposed to go up Tuesday, so, yeah, I'm super good at this. But <laughs> the reason I am a, I, I was, r the reason of not making this video was I was too busy playing the game, because I've become I just got it a couple of days ago, and have spent every f free moment playing it. So, I'm not starting a new game, I'm going with the one I already had, because it starts off a bit slow, and I want to show you all the stuff I got. This is my house, it sucks because I made it, it was the first thing I made. Yeah. Oh yes, and this is my character, he's... He's... He's a bit of a badass on this planet, where everything is easy. And my crops need watering. Yeah, move that out to the side, actually. Now, pour it! Pour it on there. Now, I have played Terraria. But I like this more than Terraria. This is, in fact, now one of my favorite games, for reasons, um, that I should probably, you know, go a little bit more in-depth into. Like, I played, um, uh, No Man's Sky, uh, and the bird just flew in the guy house. Jesus, kill it. Okay, this is my colony, by the way. I've got a colony. People are, it's, it's going well. Yes. And I was playing on the Sky, and honestly, it's an okay game. But it's not like. It certainly didn't live up to the hype. Let's put it that way. A flare, huh? Interesting. By the way, this, this is Jody. He's uh, my local merchant. We've got Hawa. Hawaha. Who is the guard? He's not a very good guard, but he, you know. This is. I forgot her name. Um. Let's see. It shows it when I'm too f far away to read it. What is this bullshit? Charm Oak. That's right. Charm Oak. Who was my first? I'm a... I'm a... C colonist. She lives down here. In the dungeon. It's... It, the, the sewer barrel was not my idea. That was her own decorating experience. As was her hat. Weird. She liked... She wanted the hat. This guy... He... Got glasses. And this is his room. And it's all going well. And I've got room for a lot more people than I actually have, and we're building off in the guard wing over here for guard people. Ow. Actually, I've got some chests for guards. Some more weapon chests. Yeah. There. Anyways, No Man's Sky. Yes. Um. One thing I had issue with was that there was no familiarity, no growing to know anything. Like, if you, you get to go and explore things, sure, but I'm a, they were just, they meant nothing. They were cool to see, but then... You just left it, and you were never going to see it again, and... Why are you wet? Oh, wow. Are you, how are you getting wet through the wall? Jesus. <clears throat> Anyways, No Man's Sky, again. Keep... Fo I need to finish what I was going to say before I go on to other stuff. There's no 
there's no chance to become familiar with anything because you just see it, you go away, and you're never gonna see it again. Ever. There's no chance to make friends. I'm a, you know, develop favorite spots to hang out. Make, I don't know, just connections to the world. In Starbound, there is that. It's like all over the place. I built this colony. I... These colonists... We went through this whole thing where she we had to get this barrel from a merchant who was stuck over the hair in this direction. Her hat... Well, I had to kill a monster to get, to get some fiber that she that she had, and then take it to make it into. And I had to spin it into cloth myself, and then give it to this guy to make her hat. And this guy, we went through a whole thing where we went from this place to this place to that guy to this guy, to making some stuff. I had to make candied apple for her. And then give her some material to make his glasses, and she, so she made his glasses. This guy is only here because Jody over here demanded that I, you know, get a guard, and he wanted it to be a, him to be a Florian for some reason. So Florian, all over the place. Currently, I'm trying to he. Um. Sirt here, that is his name, wants another apex here, so I've got the monkey on the wall, and there's going to be a, another guard. Yeah. And this is the first planet I ever was on, I've ever landed on, the star, starting planet, so yeah. It's just, you have experiences, and you remember it. But you can also go to the places that it happened. You can meet the people, etc. You can develop connections into the game and become invested in what's going on. Oh yeah, down here also we've got some crafting things here and a pool of glowing water that heals you because we needed a pool. And in my space travels, I found water that heals you. So I was like, that makes good pool. Do you ever sleep? What about you? At least they're all sleeping in their beds now. When I first started building it, they were all sleeping over up here in, in all of the different rooms. I swear, they just wanted, they just made it their mission to sleep in everyone's bed but their own. Yeah. Anyways, there's an old mine off this direction. Ouch! Okay, well. I'm just gonna take a dip in the pool. Here we go. Yep, there. Healed up now. Whee! Now this guy, again, the history here. This guy was a friend of Sirt's up there, He and he got lost, and we had to go find him. Actually, the freaking... I had to take her down this way to, I'm a, find a Florian merchant who'd, dro who'd fallen down a well to get some stuff. I mean, obviously, all these quests and stuff are randomly generated. There's a lot of just fetching quests, and they pop up really, really often. But, you know, I I don't know. It's a, one could say it's not it's not really adding depth, but you can't deny it's adding experience. Something does happen, even if it's not the most, you know, favorable experience. This is where all the monsters spawn. Like, and then I mean, no monsters spawn in here, but there was a big monster down here when I first came here, and then whenever anybody in, I'm a, this is like directly above, above below my, uh, colony, 
And whenever anybody in the colony says there's a monster they want dealt with, the monster's here. Heck, this is where Sirt's friend what the Apex friend was when he got lost, he was down there. Yeah, and this is just the first planet. It's, it's a fairly boring planet. Sometimes it rains light, which is a bit interesting when that happens. Oh, yeah. And another thing about... I'm a... Okay, interesting. Heart popped up. Oh, Jesus. Close the doors when you're done. Seriously, that's how birds and monsters get in. I, no Man's Sky, again, to, going back to that, because I've just got... This isn't so much of a showing off the game as much of me just... talking. Oh. Why am I sleep? No. Call her. Get over here. Yeah, in No Man's Sky, everything is procedurally generated. In this game, it's not. Not everything is. You've got... Oh, thank you. Very generous of you. You've got... Um, uh, specifically made things, too. Specifically made dungeons, ad um, uh, adventures, etc. Locations. Monsters. Like, some monsters are procedurally generated. Some are... Designed. Most of them on this planet, the starter planet, are um, a design, but there are procedurally generated ones as well. Corn! God damn it, I can't pick up any corn. Well, that's... Sometimes it's weird lag. Hmm. Raw poultry. Why do I just have raw poultry? There, I picked up a little bit of corn. Good for me. Why do I have one mushroom? Okay. What else can I get rid of? A pineapple seed? No, I don't want to get rid of that. Corn seed. I don't need any more corn. God damn it, there's still more corn to pick up. Wheat seed. You know what? Stick the freaking seeds in the the box. That makes sense. There we go. Actually, okay. Bait me up! Actually, I probably should have watered that corn. Oops. <clears throat> Anyways, here on my ship, I don't have much. I got a... Well, I've got a bunch of the locker, but I've got a bed. I've got a chest and a food thing, and... I have my pet. You want the ball? Go get the ball. No? Okay, then. Uh, could you move away from the chest? I'd like to... Oh, there you go. Here, there, he's after the ball. There's some corn in here. Because this... He likes corn. He also likes potatoes, but... Well, I've got a whole lot of potatoes. He doesn't like... To, um, uh... Baked potatoes, though. Just raw potatoes. Same with corn. Just like it... Just likes it raw. There. How about roasted carrots? Do you, would you like some? Do you like it? No, he doesn't like raw poultry. Okay. Yeah, and the pets have randomly generated what they like, what they don't like. Oh, there you go. He noticed the corn. Yep, he's a good boy. I think it's a boy. I don't know. But then that also means that you, they, there's also there's hidden stats because it doesn't tell you. You have to figure out for yourself what they like and don't like, like an actual pet. Also, I'm not actually over the planet that you just saw me on. No, I'm over this planet. Which is a forest planet in a different star system, because teleporters are the most amazing and overpowered thing ever in this. Oh, God! Okay. 
Yikes. Yeah, so this is a completely different star system. Because teleporters will just... They'll just shoot you off across the entire galaxy if need be. Ouch! God damn. Screw you. Okay, we make it over this big hill, and here we have... Okay, maybe not here, but... In this direction, there's a separate biome where I found the Healy Water. Well, there's a swamp dungeon right here, but I'm not going in there. Ugh. Squish. Hip. Hip. No, you don't. Yeah, my guy's gotten quite dangerous and proficient at stuff. Specifically murder, though his species is supposed to be peaceful type. Ouch. Ouch! At God! This should take my bazooka to it. Because I did find a rocket launcher. Nope. Nope. I want to go up here. Ah, yes. The double jump. That makes things so helpful. Ah, here's the other biome. With the pink trees. Water that freaking heals you. It's just a really nice. There's like no hostiles in this biome either. It's just the most nice place ever. I gotta start up a colony here at some point. Make a house. I don't know. Yeah. This game is a sandbox, I'd say. Ouch! My feet. Little good thing there's more Healy water here. Yeah. The music softens when you're underwater. Cool. And there's sugar, weird flowers, plants everywhere. These things, which are completely non hostile. It's just. I think I emptied this pool a little bit to fill in my pool back home. Yeah. And then just a well full of it. Oh dear. Oops. Eh. Gotta do it. Eh. Yeah. There we go. Hi there. Little hula dancers or something with their weird leafy things. They do. They spin and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't. Like, sort of in a way, I feel like No Man's Sky, I'm a, didn't go far enough? Because look at this. There, this is weird. Like, there are so many things that they just, they don't give any explanation. And it would be really hard to explain anyways, like, plants with eyeball trees and... Yeah, stuff like that. It's just, it's like, what? And if you were trying to explain everything, yeah, you if you were trying to make it seem realistic, you wouldn't want that, because it, it's, it, it's weird. But it embraces the weirdness and just goes all out. No Man's Sky doesn't do that. It doesn't, it tries to make it seem realistic, but without any explanation behind it. Monsters, why does it look like that? Why do you have this weird I'm a giant pig thing floating around on butterfly wings? Wings I might add that are smaller than the actual butterflies butterfly wings. And it doesn't give an explanation. It just goes, Oh look, it's weird, but not too weird. Ouch, I've exited the biome, we've now got hostiles again. Ouch! Jesus. Maybe I should stop complaining about No Man's Sky and actually focus on this game. For example, I'm just going in this one direction. I missed horribly. I missed again. Die! I oh, got.
There we go. Learn in this direction because there is in this direction. God damn it. Eh. There's a Florin village, which I wanted to go visit. And I think this is just a well that goes down. Yeah, to some bones. So, yeah. Eh. Ouch. We got. Oh, God! Yeah. There's a bunch of cool weapons and stuff in this, with the different abilities and stuff. It's cool! Here we are, Florin Village. Hello, quest. What do you want me to do? Florin's friend Amitish was meant to meet Florin for. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Okay, I guess I'm not accepting that quest. I just denied it. Okay, they got guns. That's that's good. So the Florins are vicious meat eaters and barbarians, obviously. Florin saw bandits whilst Florin was trying to be sneaky earlier in this week. They were at the depths of the sewer east of us. Very well. I shall go. Murder the bandits in the sewer. That seems like a good thing to do. Are you following me? Okay. I've got an, a friend here for this. Yep. Eh. Yeah, the NPCs are a little stupid, and when their pathing messes up, they just teleport because they have personal teleportation devices, obviously. Florence, stab you if you misbehave. Yeah, they got a thing about stabbing. Though, this one's using a gun, so I'm doing more of stabbing than it is. Ah! Back! Ouch! God damn it. There were some bandits here before. There were bandits all over this planet. I killed most of them. As I traversed across the whole thing, because... You can do that, actually. You can go so far in one direction, you are in that you're in the other direction. It does loop. It seems flat, and at that size, you really should notice the curve. But it's cool, so I, I let it slide. Yeah, this definitely doesn't try to get the scale of No Man's Sky. I'm uh, because No Man's Scale Sky does have a have a sense of scale that this doesn't have. But this did does have I feel like better feel of exploration. At least it's good feel of exploration, but with same at least it's good feel of exploration, but with um uh, a feeling of as I said familiarity, ability to connect with it. Awesome. The rain's actually filling up. Yeah, the rain doesn't heal you. But if it fills up water that heals you, the water still heals you, even when it's more. Basically, if it fills up that, it makes more healing water. Which is cool. So, we should be getting near-ish to the sewer. And I've barely done anything, and I've already done this for over 20 minutes. Yeah. That's not so good. Hopefully you're enjoying this. But see, that's just normal water, because there was no healing water there. The drain just filled it up by itself. Oh boy, Jesus. Yeah. I didn't have double jump when I came through here last time. So I had to make do by manipulating this, my surroundings. Well, geez, there were two there? Okay then. Yeah. Hip. I don't think this was the way I wanted to go. No, it was not. Where'd the Florin go? Wasn't he following me? Eh. Yeah. 
Well that. Let's just continue on, shall we? The sewer is a lot farther away than I seem to remember it being. But it's right after this. Yeah, I remember. Or right after that. No, you don't. No, God. Here we are. Here's the sewer. Now, where's my friend? Hello? Ah, oh, Jesus! That's. I was not expecting. Ouch! Jesus! I'm almost dead. Now, nope. oh god, acid, where'd the. It filled up the frickin'. Okay, then. Ouch! Oh good, he just stood in the poison. Ah. Uh. Get behind cover. That's the plan. I do have a Halloween <laughs> missile launcher, so... This works for a surprising number of encounters. What the heck did it... Oh, sorry. My mistake. Yep. No, huh? Is it got any of you guys? Hi there. Ouch! Poison! Well, now he's on fire and poisoned. That's a word. Okay, that didn't go too badly. There's more! Of course there are. Yep. You all got guns. We're in melee. I beat you. Oh, he's got a sword! Ouch! Poison! Not what I wanted to do. Ouch! You stay right there. Is he dead? He died. Good. Oh. Return to Ezzinza. There, I did a quest. Hooray. Was that exciting? Ouch. Oh good, we're entering the land of the sugar cane, pink trees, healing water, and hula dancers. Ow! Alright, healing water. So, I just probably just cut when I'm back to the village. Oh wait, hello. Well, there's the person that I left behind, but the person with the quest is over this way. Why were you even following me if you didn't follow me that far? Ouch! God! Stay back! Nope! Yep, I'm gonna die. Okay, that didn't work quite as well as I was hoping.
There we go. That was stupid! God damn it, now all my stuff is on the planet and way over there. Oh boy, here it he goes. Time to retrieve my stuff. And now I don't have any healing items. Oh boy. God damn it. At least I don't know how to operate doors. No! Poison! Poison bad! I'm going to die again! Night is the worst! Oh god! No god damn! Okay, well we've now- it's now become a quest to get my items back. Nope. God damn it. Okay, let's just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You gonna stay there? Good. Good, I got a carrot. Eat the carrot. There, now I now now I'm healing because I have lots of health. I mean lots of food. In my belly. Daybreak! Finally. Ouch! Yeah. Okay, here's the sugar cane. All is good. We're safe. Healing water. Well, evidently there's nothing violent in the area. Though I did kill some fish in the pool. Okay, I'm getting close to where I died last time. Let's just not do that again. Yeah. Eh, careful, careful. Oh god, who's shooting at me? There's no- oh no, you weren't shooting at me. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hello! No, not you. You! Yay! Good! I'm leaving. There, but you've only seen... You know, two plants. A forest world and a, and a, a world. A normal world. A, a pleasant world? I don't know. This is the outpost. It's futury and sci-fi-ish. Or something like that. And it's cool. And you can go to the bathroom. Because... You know, why not? But anyways, I think part of the reason I like this more than Terraria is because of the sci-fi-ness. Like, there are, you can go to places and find people in like the Stone Age or whatever, and or be in the eh, in the Stone Age yourself with like a craft your own bow and everything. But you can also, you know, it also goes all the way up to sci-fi, computery stuff and whatnot. And it's cool. Yes, yeah, sure. Use that panel there. I just shattered my ankles. You know to trust a sign that says legal goods, especially when the beginning of legal is cut off. In a suspicious manner. I don't know what that does at all. And I've lost a ton of my pixels, as they're called, which is the currency. Interesting choice there. From dying a bunch. Hello, mind if I stay with you? No? Good. <coughs> Anyways. That's it for this episode of Starbound. I'm going to play some more of it.
because it's I've been doing nothing but playing more of it since I started playing it. Because you can't play more of it when you played what more is less, what, none, whatever. You'd know it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Starbound, as slow and talky as it was. And I'll catch you all later.